Hi guys, welcome back. And today in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can install Playwright MCP server in your Visual Studio code and start using it. I've been getting some questions from community asking like how I can get started with the Playwright MCP server and install it in the Visual Studio code. And now that Visual Studio code has added some abilities to have MCP server in a more refined fashion, this video is going to give you all the details that you need to get started with the MCP server installation. So in order for you to do that, you are just going to use this Playwright MCP server over here that you are seeing with the execute automation Playwright MCP server. You can find all the documentations by clicking this particular link and you can see that we have got the tutorials like how you can work with the Playwright MCP server and how you can uh, see all the new features available in the Playwright MCP server which are nothing but the code generations which can generate the code not only just executing it on the on the uh, Visual Studio code or the cloud desktop and also you can generate the code on the session which it has uh, performed the operation that you have mentioned uh, as a, a plain English text and not only that we have got a lot of different Playwright automation tools as you can see navigate screenshot click iframe hover select evaluate and you can just name it there are so many different features we have got over here apart from that we also support the api testing uh, in the playwright as you can see over here so you can perform api testing using the playwright mcp server and all sort of things are possible with the playwright mcp server well as i said i'm going to quickly show you the installation part for installation of the playwright mcp server in visual studio code currently the better way for you to go with is you need to have visual studio code insider build because it has got all the bells and whistles that you need to look at all the different Different features uh, in the Visual Studio code but if you're using a cursor IDE we have already got all the things that you need for instance uh, the the IDE itself has got the feature to add the uh, MCP server but if you're a fan of Visual Studio code and if you want to use the agent from Visual Studio code then you have to use this procedure that I'm going to show you right now so we just go scroll down a bit in the uh, in the readme over here you can see that we have got a installation of Visual Studio code and there is a button if you click the Visual Studio code insider button it is going to install the playwright MCP uh, server uh, in the Visual Studio code insider IDE for you before that you you need to have Visual Studio Code Insider in first place. So I'm going to go and download the Visual Studio Code uh, Insider build. This is something that you definitely need it. Uh, so the insider build is nothing but like a futuristic build which is still not there in the general availability so that is what this particular build is all about and i'm gonna go download the uh, mac universal uh, i mean i'm using uh, the uh, apple m1 uh, chip architecture so it's basically an arm architecture uh, chip so that is the thing that you need over here uh, and i'm gonna go uh, put this in the the applications folder so that I can start using and modifying it, things of that nature. So I'm gonna go show it in the finder and I'm gonna put this in the uh, applications over here because that is something that you need in order for you to make some modifications on the uh, Visual Studio Code Insider Build. And now if you just double click this Visual Studio Code over here, it is going to open the, uh, okay, there we go. I'm just gonna allow this because it is gonna download it has downloaded from the internet. And look at that, it has opened some project for me over here like React to do applications. Awesome. So this is the insider build that I have got over here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and click that button that we have got over here. So the moment I'm going to click this button over here, it is going to add a settings uh, in the user settings or any global settings uh, for the Playwright MCP server for you. So what I mean about that, if you just do control shift P or command shift P, you can see that we have got an MCP list server or you can just search for MCP. And if you just go and hit the uh, list server over here, you can see that it's going to show me the playwright which is available in my cloud desktop so the cloud desktop has got the uh, cloud config uh, the config.js file which is going to show you all the configurations for the cloud desktop is configured and also shows me the cursor as well see that these are the settings which is configured in my cursor ide it is also been uh, displayed over here but in visual studio code itself there is no playwright uh, mcp server yet added so if you're going to be adding it you can just click this add server and then you can choose a manual installation process uh, which can be from the command std io operation or http server sent event or you can also do the npm package installation or pip package or docker image so you can specify any of these op option to choose the way that you want to install the playwright mcp server the one that you can use most of the time, I mean, that is very straightforward, is command sdio, and the command that you need to paste it is uh, this particular command, uh, the um, npx 
uh, I mean, if just scroll, scroll down a bit over here, you see that npx, uh, like that, and hyphen y, and then add execute automation playwright mcp server something like this you can do this one to do the manual installation process if not you can click that button that i was just showing you so if you just go and click it uh click this button over here uh it is just going to open a, a window over here like do you want to allow the website to open the visual studio code insider too i'm going to say yes and look at that it is just bringing you a new option here saying show configuration install the server in the in your user settings or rename the play, right? Or cancel. You can do any of these options over here. So I'm gonna say install the server in the user settings at the moment. So because at the moment in user settings, we don't have any playwright configuration for this particular Visual Studio code. And the moment I do it, uh, it's gonna show you the cloud desktop config for some reason, I don't know why, because this is insider build, maybe it's still not matured enough to show it correctly. But actually in reality, we just do command shift P and list servers. Now you'll also notice that there is a playwright server in the stopped state in the global in code insider as well, which means you can also see that this playwright MCP server is actually been configured in the Visual Studio code insider build as well. So if I'm going to go and click this over here, it's going to show you three options, start the server, show output and show configuration. I'm going to go and see the show configuration over here. Notice that this time there is a settings.json file which is your user settings of Visual Studio Code and it is now showing there is an MCP servers and this is the Playwright MCP server. The reason why this is servers is because you can configure multiple server and one of the server that we have configured is the Playwright server over here. That's why this is Playwright. See that the command npx args y uh, and this thing which is exactly the similar thing that you are seeing over here in the Playwright server uh, of our Excel automation over here in the readme file. So you can just even copy this entire thing and paste it over here. Uh, but again, it's up to you, like how you wanted to do it. But this is this is what it is, right? This is the thing that we have got. Now I'm going to uh, save this and I need to start this particular uh, Playwright MCP server so that it can now work with the agent of the uh, Visual Studio code. While I say agent, all these MCP servers are basically uh, going to work in combination with the, the agent or the tool capabilities of the large language models. And the large language model which is supported at the moment for the MCP, which is best supported for the MCP, is Claude uh, Anthropix uh, Sonnet model. And that is the model that we need to use for this particular player MCP server to work with. And you can ask like, Karthik, I don't even have any agent or whatever that you're talking about. What do you mean about it? Well, in Visual Studio, it is there for you in build if you have the uh, GitHub Copilot extension installed within your Visual Studio code. So if you just go to the extension over here and you see that I have installed the GitHub Copilot already. And this is something that you need. And you also need the GitHub Copilot chat because these two are the one which is required for you to work along with the Playwright MCP server, which I'm going to show you. And it has got the capability of the agent. So if you just go and click this thing over here, like this is this is the icon, which is going to show you the secondary uh, sidebar. Uh, and look at that. I have made some, some work already. So I'm just going to uh, leave that as it is. And if I click the plus button over there, it's going to show me edit with Copilot and there is an agent mode. See, by default, it is going to choose you the ask mode. Like this is the drop down which will be selected by default. And you may ask like, Karthik, where is the agent mode? Then you just have to go and click this ask there and look at that. We have got edit operation, which is going to edit the files for you. Uh, and then there is an agent uh, option, which is going to show you the tools uh, which has been configured and one of the tools which i'm talking about is the mcp server tool just configured with this particular visual studio code and look at that we have got the tools over here and shows me that there are 29 tools what is this 29 tools we're gonna go and select that look at that all these tools are coming from our mcp server playwright so these are the tools that is currently available in our Exit Automation Playwright MCP server, as you can see over here. We have got 29 tools. And all these tools are so useful for you to work with Playwright. You can also generate the code. You can also make the PDF files. And also you can uh, you can do API testing, not only the UI test and all those things. So all these tools are there for you over here. It is now ready for you to accept any command that you're going to go. But you also need to hit this start button there. This is very important. So once you click the start button, 
which means the Playwright server is currently up and running for you, which can now uh, work with your uh, work with your uh, agent that you have got. So what is the command that I'm going to give? Basically, if I just go and click the history over here, I have already uh, made some try out here so i'm just going to do the exact same thing um, and i'm going to paste it over here i'm going to say navigate to the website uh, eaapp.swami.com and click the login link and in the login page enter the username and password as admin and uh, click the employee list to create a new uh, user by entering some data in there and uh, and close the browser and generate the code and show me that. And now I'm gonna run this particular uh, command over there and you can see that the Visual Studio Code uh, GitHub Copilot is going to uh, say that, okay, I'm, I'm gonna help you create the Playwright script to automate these actions. First, I will start the code generation session to record these actions. So this code generation session is invoked because uh, we have got a tool there, uh, which is the code generation operation is gonna kick in. And look at that, it is gonna now automate the process to uh, perform a login and then employ creation process using the Playwright tool. So it's gonna invoke the Playwright Navigate tool. So once I hit continue, you can see that the browser is invoked and the, now it is going to perform the rest of the operation uh, in the command. So I'm gonna hit continue or maybe I can also hit continue uh, or allow in this session, which means now the same tool, if it is gonna be invoked one more time, it is not gonna ask me whether should I uh, perform this operation like one by one, which is kind of nagging. So I'm just gonna allow this for the entire session. So the fill operation and the click operation that we have got will not be, the tools will not be invoked one more time uh, if the operation is gonna be performed a second time for me. See that the login is done. It's gonna do the employee list creation and then it's gonna go click the create button and then it's gonna fill the name, salary, duration worked, grade and uh, and the email. So let's see what's gonna happen. Oh, there is a drop down there. So it's gonna invoke another tool, which is the Playwright Select tool. So I'm gonna go and select that. You see that it has selected the C level this time uh, from the junior and it's gonna do a create and look at that. We have got our entire operation completed uh, this time and I'm gonna hit continue. And it's gonna say that I'm gonna end the code session because the execution is complete. So I'm gonna hit continue there. Now, hopefully we should see that the code is going to be generated for the operation that we have done. Look at that. This is the playwright test, which is generated for me, uh, apart from the operation which it has performed there, which is quite amazing, right? Like you can see that the entire code uh, which is the format of playwright test is also available for you. So all you have to do as a test engineer is just copy this uh, this code, create a test file, uh, test.spec.ts file, and then just run it. And this code is just going to run for you. And if you remember in our last video, I was talking about the cursor IDE, which has got the same kind of capabilities uh, like the agent capability. And it also created a level further, like it created a the package.json file and the installation step. Uh, and it also created the playwright.config rts file so everything it created for you to get started with the playwright test immediately not only just this command that was more brilliant because we were using the uh, cloud 3.7 sonnet there this is 3.5 sonnet so maybe that has less capability than uh, what 3.5 preview has got so that's it guys this is all about the installation of the playwright mcp server and hope you like the idea of how you can install the playwright mcp server in visual studio code insider build for now and hopefully in uh, in a couple of days or week you are going to see all these operations you can do in visual studio code as well but that's the installation process that you need to follow to install in visual studio code and work with the agents of the github copilot Thank you so much for watching this video. Catch you in the next one.